Hi, I'm Donna from Artcraft Crazy and today I'm going to show you how to make a bath mat using an old towel. I've got some old towels here and I've already pinned this one up but um, all I've done is grab a, a bath towel from your old towels and this is a really big towel and you can use smaller towels and all you have to do if you use a smaller towel just fold it in half because I'm using a big towel I've made these into three so you'll fold it into thirds so you just get your towel if you, if you use a small towel, like I said, just fold it in half. But this is a bit big for that, unless you've got a big floor. So just lay it out in a full piece and fold it into thirds. Now, if you wanted this to be really soft and cushy, which it, it already is because it's in three pieces, but if you wanted it even softer, you could go ahead and put some wadding in between this now and once you get it to there you would that is the, going to be the bottom piece and you'd pin it up so it would end up looking like that now what I do is I use really long pins so if you haven't got any long pins just have to be a bit careful with the shorter pins. They might not reach all the way through. So just go ahead and push your pins in and just put that all the way around. Like that. And once you've done that, you're ready to sew it up. we're ready to get sewing so we're just going to use a zigzag stitch and I've put it to the longest length so it'll sew in a long zigzag so just start at the back end of the layers and you can come in a bit you don't have to start on the edge so that we can create a border so we'll leave a little bit of towel if I show you out here so about that much come in just a little bit from the edge and a little bit from this edge so that we can leave a border and just come so forward a little bit and back and just start off slow because this is quite thick and if you have a look at the back you've got this thick border from the towel that you need to sew through, so don't try and sew fast. You'll also notice that I've got the bench part on my machine. That'll also help you sew this, this bigger area of towel. And sew all the way to the end and do the same at this end, just leave it to there. Do the back stitch again. And cut your threads off. Now what you need to do is just keep on doing that all over. You can turn it around. I've already done this end here. So we've got the two ends done and you do the same coming down this side. So we'll sew that side and then we'll come and do the other side as well. And when I've done that, I'll come back and show you. All right, now I've sewn all the way around the edge. You could actually leave it like this if you wanted to and have the whole bath mat finished at this stage. And that's right to use. I'll just show it to you like this.
right. There's no need to sew any further than that. If you want that, that's nice and comfy and, and spongy. I just pinned all that down there. That's just to hold it so that when you sew that edge, it doesn't all move and get out of square. So that's ready. That can be finished or you can go ahead and keep sewing. If you wanted it like a quilted effect, you could sew up here, here, here and here and across here. But if you just wanted it nice and plain, you could leave it like this. I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy. Thanks for watching and bye for now.